Hello and welcome to Infinity. One of the least used of the gradients is the conical gradient, but it is useful for one thing, and that's to create a color wheel, which can be very useful for just explaining things or for you know matching colors on your uh, image. So let's let's create one. So I've got file, new, new document. Uh, I'll leave it with a transparent background. And I'm going to draw an ellipse. So I go to the ellipse tool here. Well, actually, I'm going to draw a circle. So I'm going to go to control. I'm going to go to the center there. Yeah. So where I follow the red and green lines and control shift and it will spread out nicely from that. There you go. There's a nice circle. Now I'm going to go to the gradient tool. I'm going to change the type to conical. And what you see there is the, the, the conical tool, because if you look at the ellipse here, see it's got white, grey, white on it. So it goes white and white here, either side of this line, then grey in the middle opposite. We're going to put a colour wheel around this. So let's start off, we'll get rid of that one. The one over there, we're going to make red, so we turn green and blue down. The other end needs to be red as well because it's going to be up against this one. So there we go, make that circle biggest and then green and blue down. Now we want to start adding the extra ones. So at 33 with the position here we set at 33%, so a third of the way around we want green. And so we'll just turn green up and red down. So now we've got green. What we're going to do here as well, well let's, let's put in blue. So blue going to be at 66%. That one's selected and blue, blue up and the others down. There we go. What we're going to do here is rotate this circle. See we can make this go in and out, you get the same effect. And until we lock at the top there on the green line, this is just convention that normally you put red at the top. Let's add on the secondary colours. So between these two here, it's going to be 17%, 16.66 and all that. Then the colour is between these two is going to be yellow. You can always get these because this is going to be everything but blue because blue is the opposite whatever's opposite it blue is going to be minimum and the other is going to be up so we add the next one in here that's going to be at 50 percent and that's going to be cyan which is opposite red so red down and the others up and the third one's going to be up here which is going to be 83 percent I'm tapping here 83%. There we go. Opposite green, so green down and the others up. And there we go. Let's click on the hand tool so we can take all those overlays down. And there we have a color wheel, which we can drop this into a another image. Everything else can be transparent, so it'll just appear as a circle on top. Another thing you can do is fade into the middle. And the simple way to do this is get the ellipse tool, go into the middle again, control shift, drag out to draw an ellipse out like this, and then the fill on that. We're going to get rid of all these, so we'll just drag those out, and we'll go from yeah, let's go from white to the other end, transparent, so that's us per opacity down. And we've got the wrong one here, we've got conical selected. We want to be elliptical. There we go. So now we've got a fade in, so this is tints going from the outside, the, the saturated colour all the way down, gradually into white. And we can easily change it, so we could change that there to black. And now we've got shades getting darker and darker into black. And we could similarly put a 50% grey 
to get the other. So anyway, that's about it for now. Simple way of using the conical gradient and creating yourself a useful pillow wheel. Thank you very much for watching.